Welcome back. Now the latest on our search for the reckless driver filmed drifting between lanes at high speed. Since our story aired last night, we've been contacted by a current affair viewers with information. Last night we aired the crazy hooning antics that shocked the nation and outraged police. It was a major arterial road. Peak hour, heavy traffic, just crazy behaviour. Certainly at the extreme end of what we've seen. A drifter putting his fun ahead of the lives of others on a busy Australian freeway. Today, a current affairs investigation has pieced together where we believe these cars came from and where they were heading. We understand the owner of the Toyota Sprinter shown in this footage is Jay Duca well known in the motorsport of drifting from South Australia. His Facebook profile picture appears to be the very same car shown in this appalling dash cam footage. After our vision aired, he changed his picture. This is a photo from the Speed Hunters website of Jay winning a dummy prize for best crash award during a drifter event. The suspected owner of the red Nissan Silvia, seen here as the support vehicle, is Dave Dermody. Take a look at this picture on Dave Dermody's Facebook page. Notice the same markings and stickers on the car as in the dash cam vision. It's our understanding that on March 15, Jay Duker and Dave Dermody competed in the Drift Challenge Australia at Baskerville, Tasmania. The following day, we believe these cars boarded the spirit of Tasmania heading to Melbourne. They arrived in Melbourne on the morning of March 17 to begin the trip home to South Australia via the Westgate Bridge. The very same day, this footage was captured by truck driver Scott. There's no words that can explain it at 8 o'clock in the morning. I mean, you don't expect to see this stuff. Despite a number of attempts to contact Jay Duker and Dave Dermody to confirm if it was their cars hooning on the Westgate Bridge and to ask who was driving them at the time, we never heard back. Professional drifting associations today condemned the dangerous and irresponsible actions of the drivers. We do not support drifting on the roads. We try to facilitate drifting on the track. This behaviour is unusual and we don't see much of it in South Australia. Hopefully the public might recognise this vehicle and it leads the police in the right direction. And police have urged anyone involved in that incident to hand themselves in.